What is good guys, just me, your favourite YouTuber, your favourite food review YouTuber anyway. Back again with another video, I've been to Iceland and I picked up something absolutely delicious. Are you ready for it? Mentally prepare yourself for this because you're going to be rushing out to buy this once I show you. Cathedral City Cauliflower Cheese Yorkshire Pudding. I can't wait to try this. I hope I don't give it a curse because whenever I cannot wait to try anything, it always turns out to taste like crap. So. Fingers crossed for this one. High, high hopes for this. Cathedral cheese is absolutely gorgeous, nice and strong. A bit of cauliflower and Yorkshire pudding as well. Can't go wrong, can you? Now this was about four pounds. I think it was, I brought it a couple of weeks ago. I've lost the receipt. So come down, let's take a look at the packaging. Come down. So Cathedral City, no, this is what drew me in. Absolutely love trying new stuff. So I'm hoping it's gonna look like this. That looks absolutely gorgeous. 4th of May, 400 grams sprinkled with toasted breadcrumbs and cheddar cheese. Oh, come on. For best results, cooked from frozen, which is what we're going to be doing. Preheat oven to 180. The oven's on. Pierce the film lid several times, leaving in tray. Place in the middle of the oven for 45 minutes. Remove the lid and cook for another 15 minutes, then stand for five minutes. What? I'm going to be absolutely starving then. Going to be wasting away. No chance of that, is there? <laughs> so the ingredients, you've got 30% cauliflower, you've got Yorkshire pudding, 24%, the allergens, wheat, egg, milk, mustard, and barley. It's got quite a few allergens in it. So if you are allergic to stuff, please check this. It tasted breadcrumbs, 2%, Cathedral City cheese, 16%. So this is gonna be quite cheesy. This is gonna be that cheesy. It might even give my jokes a run for the money. <laughs> Doubt that. So now the scream bit. Eee, eee, eee. Let's pierce this, baby. Always get carried away at that bit. I don't know what it is about sharp knives and, and pierce and things, but I like to absolutely slaughter it. So there, you can't really make out much there, can you? Let's get it in the oven. Let's waste no time. Bye-bye, baby. It's in the oven. I am really absolutely starving. I've just started to fast again. So from 8 p.m. at night, until 2 p.m. the following day. I don't eat anything. So this is going to be my first meal of the day. I can't wait to get it in my belly. I'll see you in 45 minutes. Finally, the time has come. It is cooked. It is ready to take out the oven and eat. Can't wait for this. We'll weigh it first though. Oh, look at that. So on the pack, it says 400 grams serving suggestion. Feels quite heavy, that does. Off to a good start already, eh? 402 grams. An extra two grams. That is a lot in the streets. But let's waste no time. Let's get cracking. So it looks like there is absolutely loads of cheese on here. Wow, that Cathedral City cheese is strong, like I thought it would be. I've only just tried some of the cauliflower cheese. Let's try some of the Yorkshire pudding. Cauliflower is quite crunchy as well, which is nice. Nobody likes soggy cauliflower. Yorkshire pudding's lovely as well. Crunchy and full of flavour. Let's try a bit of it all together. Okay, some of the Yorkshire cauliflower and the cheese. Wow, that is gorgeous. Because the Yorkshire pudding's so crunchy and the cauliflower's so crunchy, when it's in your mouth, you can't hear anything else. It's <laughs> just a crunch. It's like when you walk on fresh snow for the first time, that crunch. Even the breadcrumbs on top are crunchy as well. This is a proper crunch fest. That cheese is so strong. If you've never tried Cathedral City cheese before, Try it if you like strong cheese. Absolutely lovely. These would be a lovely addition to a Sunday dinner. Get a lot of gravy in there, get your chicken in there, because they are a fair size. Peas, carrots, I don't know what you have would be chicken dinners, or beef, or gammon. Other meats are available. For quality, I'm gonna give that an eight out of 10 because they've done really well. Everything works well together. Everything has strong flavors. Value for money, I'm pretty sure it was about four pounds. So I'm gonna give that a six because four pound is a lot for a Yorkshire pudding and some cauliflower with a bit of cheese in. But would I be buying it again? Yeah, this was lovely to break my fast with today. I'm gonna to be eating a hell of a lot more in the next six hours, which is my window that I'm allowed to eat in before I start fasting again. So I'm gonna go 
stuff my face. If you did like that, then please like, comment, share, subscribe. If you didn't like it, then please like, comment, share, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.